Hello everyone. Welcome back to Code and Box Automation Lab. This is Sherpa. In this lecture, we're going to demonstrate how to validate API response status code. It means when you send a request, when you send a request to API endpoint, so API receives some response from the server. So, and, and those response comes with some status code also. So here example, here, this is our API endpoint. So when you repeat that request to this endpoint and it's received some response, you can see over here, status code is the 200. The request method was get and the status code is 200. And every response code has some meaning. So in our API REST API testing, you have to validate some of the status code too. There is a list of response code. You know, I will share this uh, link in below description. So here is a number of the, you know, uh, response code, like 100 series, uh, 200 series. And what does it mean? Say so there is the 200 series, which is very famous for API testing. Like it's uh, that the request successfully. So 200 means, you know, that's the meaning. And and there is a few other, like four, four, 400 series, you know, like 400, if this response is 400, it means it's a bad request. And then you can see there is a 404. We all know this 404. It means like, you know, the page not found. So if you have a, uh, you know, your API endpoint, it's a wrong endpoint. And then it will re response you 404 because it says it's a, the URL. It's not a valid URL. So, you know, so, in, you know, so that's the way you are going to test some of the response status code. So let's go back to our VS code. Here we're going to uh, validate like the 200. So as we, we just showed over here in our, this API endpoint, and we found the status code is 200, which is like accepted the request was you know, successfully accepted it by the server. So we'll see in our test cases is that our uh, Cypress uh, test can find the status code is 200 is uh, uh, what's its match, whether it's match or not. So here we're going to create another it block. Let's see, you know, it's easy. I can just make a, let's just copy the, our old code and here, Let's create another it block. Just change it over here. So we'll see API test read block would be API test status validation. Status validation. So our API uh, endpoint is same as it is. So here we're going to, so this is our request and then puts in a, a, a you know, ally, allies, and then this is our, we're getting, uh, you know, the, uh, response, see why that get the response. So it's, we're not using header. We're looking for status, right? So we'll say inside this response. So we're looking for the status, status, and then we don't need this one. We're going to validate the status code. So we'll say should, and when you validate some code, some, you know, some integer number, we can use equal, right? The equal, and then what do you want to validate? Equal to what? Equal to 200, right? And just to make sure that the 200 is an integer, it's not a string. So don't put the, you know, um, the call, the double quotation. So don't put that 200 inside the quotation. So that should be very straightforward. So it means like, you know, what we are looking for? We're looking for, we're saying, this is our request and it's saved on this ally. So variable where we're going to uh, get the rec a response. So see why that get it's a response is holding on this variable where we're looking for uh, status and status should equal to 200. So that's it. So let's save it. And then let's run it. So npx Cypress so open enter. 
Okay. This one is loaded. Let's run it. Okay, here we go. So you can see this is our first test, like our previous uh, tutorial covered that part. It will be, uh, you know, uh, error validation. And this is our second test. It's uh, in regards API this status validation. If we see a little bit in detail, so let's open this. So you can see this is a request. This is the endpoint, and what well, it's a uh, whole. This is the variable. It's a whole the response. Whereas we're validating the status. Expected it was two hundred, and it's uh, found that to uh, two hundred. So it's assertion was passed. So and this is our the uh, other validation for the header. So you know it's very straightforward, very simple. So in our upcoming uh, lecture, we're going to see some uh the some value of the body validation so inside the val body you may have the value of the name so we can see that how we can uh, validate that parameter and also we'll see some uh you know negative response like if your endpoint your api endpoint it's wrong it's, it's invalid and then when you send some request it should your server should give you some response which is like four to four so it, it's that negative, you know, uh, response. So how are you are going to test that kind of things, right? So it is, it's a little bit tricky, but we'll see in our, one of the upcoming lecture. So that's all for today. Thanks a lot. Stay tuned and please share with others and uh, press the bell icon so that if you don't miss our next classes. Have a good one. Bye-bye.